Hello, welcome to my tutorial on Google Presentations. Let's go ahead and get started. In order to create a presentation, you're going to click on the Create button within Drive and choose Presentation. There are lots of things you can actually use presentations for. I'm just going to go over the basic steps of creating one and cover a couple of ideas for how to use them. When you create one, you'll choose from a design theme Choose something simple or something more interesting to you and click OK. That will then be applied to all of your slides. The initial slide is a title slide. This is similar to PowerPoint, though quite not quite as robust. And as we're working here, we would want to add our title. and if you would like a subtitle. You can add additional slides very easily by clicking on this red button in the top left, and it gives you several options of what types of slides to add. So the most common would be a title with a body. Then other things that you might want to do would involve any of these options for formatting across the top. Um, you can see that you can also add things such as shapes, uh, even parts of equations. You can add a text box of your own, images, etc. I also find it important to understand under the insert menu that you have some important options here. Image, which is also found on the standard toolbar. Link, again, found on the standard toolbar. And video. Now the video option is designed to be used with YouTube. So you can actually type in a search for YouTube. Or you could punch in a YouTube URL. Notice it is YouTube specific though. If you want to use a video from another source, you would have to just paste a link and click on that in your presentation. YouTube videos will embed themselves right into your presentation, however. Notice the options change depending on what's currently selected. So right now I have nothing selected except for the slide. And as I click here, the options adjust. There were multiple other options here. Animate is one that students tend to get into a lot. Um, you may also want some simple animations if you are presenting. So you can find animation options here. They are relatively simple within this program. As always, you'd want to name your document so that you can easily find it by name when you're looking at your Google Drive. There's not much more to say here. You can click on present to present and add comments if you have shared the document. I'm going to go back over to Google Drive and just go over a couple of ideas of how you can use your presentations. One thing I do frequently is use them as handouts or just to create individual sheets. For example, I put student rubrics in the slide format so that each slide is a different student, space for the rubric, in a table and space for comments. Um, I have lots of students hand in presentations. They simply send me the link or turn it in through uh, a program such as Schoology or Edmodo and they're done. But they can also easily collaborate with other students. A very productive tool that way as opposed to uh, emailing full PowerPoint presentations back and forth or using thumb drives which get forgotten at home or won't work on certain computers. Um, I hope this basic introductory, introductory tutorial has been helpful to you. If you have questions, feel free to leave comments here or get in touch with me uh, via email. Thank you. I'm Chad McGowan and I'll see you next time.